So I got this new knife, and it's a Whittler, and uh, I wanted to test it out on some fat wood, and then I was like, well, why don't I just make a video of that? Because that's totally like an internet video thing. Huh. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> they call this a Whittler because of the, uh, the size. Oops. It's small, and when you're doing whittling, you know, like cutting wood and like carving stuff or things like that, um, you know, the blades are smaller. They can generally get into little, little crevices and things like that. And I have some, um, West Virginia fatwood. <laughs> yeah. The, the, there, there's some people that understand that. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Anyway. Man, this is, this is some tough fatwood. But this Whittler is, uh, seems to be going through it with no problem. I mean, why why get a nifty new knife if you're not going to test it out? Like, you know. But, uh, I got this one in case I decide to actually, you know, fool around. Maybe try to carve something or something like that. I wouldn't normally try to do it with fat wood. I'd do it with something softer, you know. If I was, uh actually going to cut and do some whittling but uh, and it has a longer blade oh incidentally this is who makes this you're probably wondering I have no idea who makes this <laughs> it's probably frost I don't know Made in China. It's not no. Made in Japan. It's not. It's not high end, but you know, it's it's a nice little knife. It's got like a nifty little bone handle. Um, I didn't give much for it at all, so it's it's it was a pretty good uh, deal. Yeah, it's just whittling away, isn't it? This um, I let this fat wood get really really dry, and because of the resin in it. It's um it's like a brick. <laughs> so this if this was like a normal piece of wood, this knife would just be ripping right through it no problem. But this is uh this is rough. The knife seems to be good. It's uh it's made a couple smooth surfaces in the wood, so I guess that's good. But um but anyway I wanted to show you the new Whittler. It's got a bone handle on it. And uh, it's a pretty nifty little knife. And um, I haven't done a video on this before. In fact, I don't think I've done a video on a Whittler at all. Um, see how the knife is kind of um, kind of in and over a little bit. It makes it so that you can, you know, do Whitland. Carve a little block. It's a nice little knife. It's pretty nifty. But um, anyway, if you have uh, wisdom or insight on a uh, a nifty little whittler, um, or if there's stuff that you like to carve, or if you've never carved before, or if you've wanted to, um, the only thing I would really suggest, if you want to start whittling on your porch, is always have a uh, a two by four, maybe about two feet long, doesn't have to be big, on your lap, and your downstrokes into the 2 by 4 Never downstroke into your knee when you're whittling. <laughs> that doesn't end well. Anyway, that's my wisdom for the day. Um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day. And uh, as always, you know, leave wisdom or insight or crap. I, I, I totally dig that sort of stuff when my... When my um, uh, watchers like will tell me something new and give me some information. I'm like, woohoo, awesome. So, it's all about the wisdom, man. That's what life is all about. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling on about the nifty little Whittler. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I am out.